Welcome to USA Breaking News Today. Please subscribe and click notification box to get all breaking news alert. Breaking news today. Iran warns arrogant Israel would be eliminated in World War III as region tensions soar. Iran has warned arrogant Israel that it will be eliminated in World War III and their hands are on the trigger and missiles are ready as tensions between the two nations continue to soar to an all-time high. General Hossein Salami, Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps, IRGC, Deputy Commander Brigadier said, Don't trust your air bases. They're within reach. As part of the shocking warning given in Tehran he added, wherever you are in the occupied land, you'll be under fire from us, from east and west. You became arrogant. If there's a war, the result will be your complete elimination. Local media stated the remarks were an apparent reaction to Israel's publication on Tuesday of a map showing five Tehran-controlled bases in Syria. Hossein Dali Ryan, a reporter at Iran's Tasnim News Agency, tweeted that Vice Commander Mr. Salami had said Iran's hands are on the trigger and missiles are ready and will be launched at any moment that enemy has a sinister plot. On April 9, Israeli aircrafts fired at the T-4 air base in central Syria, which was confirmed at the time by Moscow, Damascus, Tehran, and U.S. officials. On Wednesday, it was reported that the strike was discussed by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Donald Trump before the strikes were ordered. The strike allegedly targeted Iranian air defense equipment and parts of Tehran's drone program. Although Mr. Netanyahu's government has refused to comment on the strike, it is believed a senior Israeli military official said it was the first time we attacked live Iranian targets, both facilities and people. This follows on from Iran's warning to the U.S. that there would be unpleasant consequences if Donald Trump pulls out of the multilateral nuclear deal that was agreed in 2015. Iranian Foreign Minister Javad Zarif said, Iran has many options if the United States leaves the nuclear deal. The response from Iran, and in fact from the international community, to the U.S. move would be very unpleasant for Americans. The 2015 Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, Jake Po, the official name for the Iran nuclear deal, saw economic sanctions lifted on Iran in return for strict limits on its nuclear program. The agreement was signed by former U.S. President Barack Obama, but Mr. Trump has consistently called it a very bad deal. The Republican firebrand has set a deadline of May 12 to fix the terrible flaws or he will refuse to extend sanctions relief on Iran. The U.S. remains in the deal by periodically waiving nuclear sanctions against Iran. Mr. Trump is concerned by Iran's ballistic missile program and by how fast they could add a nuclear capability at the end of the deal in addition to the country's stance in the Middle East, notably Tehran's role in backing Syria's government in the civil war and fighting a proxy war against Saudi Arabia in Yemen. A leaked report in January claimed that Iran has fired at least 23 ballistic missiles since signing the 2015 nuclear deal. The Jake Po was signed by six of the major world powers, Britain, the US, Russia, France, China and Germany, plus the European Union. When Mr. Trump waived sanctions against Iran in January he warned European allies that it will be the last time unless they agree to make radical changes. He said, this is a last chance. I hereby call on key European countries to join with the United States in fixing significant flaws in the deal, countering Iranian aggression, and supporting the Iranian people. If other nations fail to act during this time, I will terminate our deal with Iran. Britain, France and Germany have been engaged in intensive talks with Washington to maintain support for the Iran nuclear deal beyond the May 12 deadline, but nothing has yet to be agreed. U.S. Senator Bob Corker, chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, said last month that he believes Mr. Trump will pull out of the Iran nuclear deal. He said, right now it doesn't feel like it's going to be extended. I think the president likely will move away from it unless our European counterparts really come together on a framework. Thanks for watch please share like comment this video and subscribe channel for latest news.